Guys, I have to tell you something. I am Iron Man. What is going on guys, my name is Damien and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. Today we're checking out the Avengers mod. This mod adds an Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk and Thor into Minecraft as well as the villains Mandarin and Loki which look pretty dang cool. Anyways guys, this is a pretty awesome mod so let's if you could take one second to smack the like button. Let's aim for 40 plus likes on this video. Anyways, let's get started with the mod. So basically guys, this mod adds in the particular armors needed to become our characters in Minecraft. First off, we have Iron Man. He has three different armors in this mod, uh, those including his normal Iron Man's helmet, suit, leggings, and boots. All the crafting recipes, guys, will be linked below in the description just to save time. So if you guys want to check out how to craft these things, they'll just be in the forms page. Anyways, let's go ahead and put on our armors and see what abilities they give us. So first off, we have the Iron Man's armor, and when you put this on, you can see that you get um, this new GUI on your screen, as well as you get speed strength 3 as well as water breeding so you're basically able to survive underwater with that one anyways with this new GUI you can um, basically fly like Iron Man by just holding down space unfortunately when you look at the ground it does give you this glitch um, or look at any item so just just one thing to keep in mind anyways if you go ahead and hold down space let's actually change to game mode survival just to show you how it works um, we could actually fly which is pretty cool and um, it's also a gliding suit so you basically take no fall damage and you do um, kind of you know glide down towards the ground with this um, it, it's pretty much like the flying on creative mode as well as if you double space you can actually access that creative mode style flying I really think this is not that great because Honestly, it's just being in creative mode um, when you're in a survival game. As you can see, it's basically working in the same way. Shift to move down and space to move up. But I like it better when I just use it with the space and I could glide around. Very, very cool. Now, in addition to the Iron Man suit, we also have his repulsor, which you can hold in your hand and use pretty much like a weapon. So if you go ahead and just fly up into the sky right now and just right click, you can see that it shoots out this large kind of explosion. And um, it does pretty much the explosion blast of at and a little bit smaller, but it does do quite a lot of damage. So let's go ahead and just grab some uh, mobs here and let's kill them using this particular um, attack. All right, so let's go ahead and spawn down some pigs. And if you go ahead and just right click to shoot the repulsor, you can see that it does take them out with one hit. And um, this does do quite the damage. All right, guys, so moving on, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other um, Iron Man armors available in this mod, those including the Mark 1, which is the one he wore when he came out of the cave. And this one is um, a fairly different. I like how they made it a little bit different and not uh, kind of car carbon copied it over to um, another um, armor. Anyways, this one has speed slowness too, because of course this is a very heavy and bulky armor. This one has th uh, strength um, 4, excuse me, and this one also has jump boost. Fire resistance 4 and water breeding. So basically, um, as you can see, it looks very cool when I'm like in this GUI because it's square, much like the prototype or Mark 1 design from Iron Man. So definitely pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and change back into survival and walk into that fire. Now, as you can see, um, I basically take no damage from the fire because, of course, when or in Iron Man 1, the movie, um, he basically got hit by blow torches and nothing really happened to him. Very cool. All right, so let's go ahead and grab his repulsor again from our menu. Let's actually grab that. There we go. And it basically works the same way with any of the armor. So if I go ahead and just right click, you can see I shoot off that repulsor and create that explosion right there. So very cool. Um, like I mentioned, it does have slowness, which um, kind of corresponds to the bulkiness, as well as it does have the jump boost, meaning that you cannot fly with this armor, but you can jump pretty high. Because, of course, you cannot actually fly with the Mark I armor in the movie itself. So if I go ahead and try to do that, you can see that it basically does nothing. So definitely pretty cool. All right, moving on, we have the Hulkbuster armor, and this armor is very, very strong, of course, because you could battle the Hulk with it. It gives you speed, strength, resistance, four, as well as water breeding. So um, let's go ahead and just jump into the water, as well as, guys, you can see that it can fly, and it does have a different color GUI, meaning that it's green, um, kind of like a green tint over it. Very, very cool. So let's go ahead and just fly over to the swamps. As you can see, this one flies a bit faster, and um, if you go ahead and go underwater, you can see that we take... Um, basically no um, breathing damage or actually has 
Um, yeah, it does take it, but of course you just survive on the water when it goes down to zero. Basically what water breeding does. Alright, so it's basically the armor. You can do pretty much the same thing using the repulsor. Um, on its own, it has no attack. It's just basically armor that allows you to fly and hover by double um, clicking the space button. So definitely um, pretty basic, but it does have a little bit of extra um, resistance for the armor. Alright, so anyways, moving on, we have Captain America, and Captain America uh, is a little bit different from Iron Man. Of course, he is a human kind of steroid up, and if you go ahead and put on his armor, we have speed, strength through strength 3, excuse me, jump boost, and resistance 4, as well as we have Captain America's shield, which does 9 attack damage when you hit with it, and you can also right-click to um, throw it, and it does 9 attack damage as well. So, yet again, if you grab some pigs here... And we um, throw um, some of our shields at it. You can see I will kill it in just two hits. So there's a pig right there. We just right click and it just kills him with two hits. Definitely pretty cool. And you can see that it does have a durability. So you can basically spam this. And it won't run out as quick as you think. It will just stay there for like almost ever forever basically anyways um that's pretty much the iron man armor if you move um if you move along we have the hulk armor and the hulk armor is a little bit different and uh, if you go ahead and put this on you can see that it gives you speed strength jump boost and resistance four i think that's what it does sometimes the potion effects gets um kind of stuck there on the side let's go ahead and just um reload our game and see if that um, is correct. No, it actually gives you speed, strength, and just jump boost. And I'm not really sure why the Hulk will be so weak um, for the armor itself, but as you can see, you basically have the Hulk skin on, which looks, um, he looks very ripped. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think they should have given him, like, the highest strength um, boost, but as you can see, he could jump really, really high and really far. Well, not really high, but really far, as you can see, um, because um, the Hulk is pretty much good with doing that from jumping building to building. And oh my gosh, I took a little bit of um fire damage there, as you can see. I think he has fire resistance, doesn't he? Yeah, so you can resist fire as well. So definitely, it's just pretty much a strong armor that allows you for quite a lot of mobility, but is limited because it does not fly or have that much strength boost. Anyways, let's go ahead and um, check out the next armor we have, which is Thor. And um, let's just grab that. There we go. And Thor actually comes with his hammer as well as his armor. And if you put this on, let's go ahead and just um, leave the menu and come back because it's kind of messing up there. Let's actually see. Um, I think I hate when it does that because it doesn't accurately give you the effects of the actual armor. So let's go out one more time and see um, if you could change the outcome of that. So this armor apparently gives you no okay there we go it gives you speed strength three and fire resistance meaning that we can survive in this fire we have extra strength and of course um speed which makes us move faster he really has no special jumping abilities or jump boosts and um yeah that's pretty much that uh he doesn't really do much but he does have his armor in which you could right click and it shoots lightning of course and you can also hit with the armor which does 52 attack damage. Oh my gosh. So let's go ahead and grab an iron golem here to um, fully see the strengths of this armor. Uh, there we go. There's an iron golem. Let's just go ahead and spawn down one of these guys. We'll just hit them and um, it kills them with one hit because of course he has the strength three so it'll do extra damage and I'm not really sure how much um, damage it multiplies to but I'm pretty sure it's way over 100 because we just killed that iron golem with basically one hit. Alright, um, that's pretty much all of the members of the Avengers um, that the mod trader added. So we have the main ones like Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk, and Thor. We do not have Black Widow or Hawkeye because um, they're pretty much irrelevant to um, superheroes. Uh, anyways, guys, for the villains, we have Loki and we have the Mandarin. Well, not the Mandarin from the movie, but the Mandarin... Well, I guess he's from the movie, but he's not actually the real Mandarin because, you know, there was a reveal, um, a plot twist in the movie that showed that some other guy was the Mandarin and this guy was just a puppet. Anyways, um, I digress. But anyways, moving on, we have the Mandarin, as you can see. Looks very cool. Very cool skin, might I add. Um, it's shaded very well. And we also have... Um, this spawn item, which is called an evil, bro evil brother, and we have Loki with, the, with his awesome, um, cool suit. I just love Loki's suit. I'm pretty, pretty sure everyone just loves Loki, even though he's a villain. He's just really charismatic and very cool, and, um, it does come when you kill him with the Loki, um, or the Shatari Scepter, and when you right-click, you could shoot, um, oh, very large explosions with this, and where did he go? Yeah, it kind of blasted, blasted him up into the air. And um, this does 9 attack damage when you hold it in your hand. As you can see, it basically does nothing to him. 
I think it poisons them. I'm not really too sure. Let's actually check that out on an iron golem. If we go ahead and just hit the iron golem. Yeah, it does poison them. And as you can see, our iron golem is attacking Loki, but Loki has 500 health and the mandarin has 500 health as well. So they pretty much are um, sort of invincible, uh, except towards Thor. And as you can see, um, I'm not sure why, but I think I have speed, poison, strength 3, and fire resistance. I'm not really too sure why I have that. I think because I'm holding the Shatari Scepter, I get poisoned. I think that's the case. Yeah, if you hold the Shatari Scepter, as you can see, you get poisoned. And or if you use it, I think. I'm not really too sure about that. But um, anyways, if you go ahead and switch back over into creative mode and walk up to one of these characters, you can see that they basically kill you with one hit. If you go ahead and grab Thor's armor and grab his um hammer, Thor's hammer, you can see that you do die a little bit slower. They do poison you, uh, but you can kill them with a few hits because you have this kind of huge boost of strength. So basically, um, if you want to defeat our villains, you have to be Thor because he just has a huge, huge amount of attack compared to the other Avengers. As you can see, I almost died from that poison, but I did get the Mento whatever ring. But basically, when you kill the Mandarin, you get a set of rings, which you can then use to craft um, an item. I believe I forgot what the item was, but um, if you go ahead and um, go back into the menu, you can see that we have several different rings. Um, but I think they just give you different abilities. I'm not really too sure because when I tried using the rings, they really do nothing. So maybe at the moment it's just cosmetic and um, actually you cannot craft anything using this. So that's basically the item drops for our villains. So guys, that basically wraps up today's mod spotlight. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Take one second to drop a like or a comment down below. I definitely do appreciate your support. If you guys want to see more of my Minecraft mod spotlights, click on the videos on your screen or in the playlist link below in the description. Also guys, don't forget to subscribe to see all my latest videos on your subscription feed. Feed. This is Team Twist, and I'll see you later.